All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about Network Tap. <laughs> what they do, why you'd want them, and let's go! All right, we are back, and we are talking about Network Tap. Taps specifically, what are they? What's a, what's a network tap, and why would I use it? Well, a network tap essentially what it does is it copies all the traffic or all the data in between two devices and puts it on another port so you can analyze that traffic. Now, how it does it is it is it essentially copies all the data. And so whether it's a 10 gig connection, a one gig copper connection, fiber, the, you know, the, the media doesn't necessarily matter. There's a number of tap options out there, but essentially what a tap does is it goes in line. So if I have a fiber connection between two switches, I have an ethernet connection between two switches, maybe I've got an upstream router and my local LAN, I could insert a tap between the two of them and it copies the data and sends it out. Now that could go to, maybe you've got a security appliance that analyzes all the data. Maybe you've got a sniffer that you just wanna basically troubleshoot traffic. You could do all of those things leveraging a tap. Now you may be asking yourself, well, a switch can do that. I could configure a span port or a monitor port and it can copy all that data. That is true, but a lot of times, if a switch reaches a high usage or a high CPU usage, it may be difficult for it to keep up with the traffic, and in some cases, it doesn't replicate all of that traffic. So if you want it to be 100% sure, you wanna get all that traffic replicated, you want to use a TAPS. Additionally, it doesn't take any CPU load, incremental load, on the actual switch. Some switches may be able to do it in hardware, other switches have to use CPU, but either way, it is gonna create an additional load because you're copying data received from all these other ports and sending it out in other ports. So a tap alleviates all of that. Some examples are products like Gigamon. They've got a bunch of tap options out there, 10 gig, one gig. As the network increases, you know, in terms of size and throughput, whether it's 10 gig, 25 gig, 40 gig, the tap capabilities are increasing as well. Well, you also need a host that can ingest all that data. So whether it's an appliance or a physical machine, you're gonna need something that can take in all that data. All right, so we covered a lot around taps. If you wanna insert a security appliance or maybe a network analyzer, some way to sniff all that traffic between two devices, whether it's an edge router or two switches, a tap is the way to go. You don't have to worry about any incremental load on those outside devices to replicate that traffic. So if I said anything in this video that you're like, man, I'd love to know more, about that, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.